Welcome back to Ridgetop Survival. Today I put together a little EDC kit out of the stuff I usually keep in my pockets. It's always getting in my way and I'm never getting what I actually need out of my pockets. So I figured I'd do something like this. I've got two, band, two rubber bands wrapped around a 100% cotton bandana. And that holds everything in there except for the clothespin. The clothespin is just for if you rip your pants or something and it's bad enough that it's in your way, you can pin it up until you get home, get it up out of your way. The rubber bands make excellent fire starting material with the stuff I keep in my kit anyways. So you unroll it and I've got five ones for tolls or if your snacks or a little bit of gas if I need it. I've got a Bic lighter with duct tape wrapped around the handle just like I do all of them. And then the ferro rod that I carry every day with some fire cord as a lanyard. I'm going to set this stuff out of the way and show you what you can do with your EDC ferro rod that's so small you can put it anywhere and the bird's nest you found in the woods. So this is a UST, Ultimate Survival Technologies ferro rod, and I've really liked it. I've wore this down plenty. This is one of the best small ferro rods out there. It throws plenty of sparks. I mean, the striker's really good, and this has lasted a long time. But see, one strike and it's wanted to flame up there. You can take this bird's nest, tear your little piece off, that way you've got more fires for later. You might have to baby it up a little bit. It is a little damp out here, but if you get to the middle of it, it's gonna be completely dry. It might take you a while, but if you were freezing cold or you needed to boil some water to get some food in you, this would be better than nothing. Now, if you take extra time and prep your fire a little better, you'll have better success. But this, I think, is a really good ferro rod. And all around, the kit put together prepares you for a lot more than wilderness survival. Too many people focus on the things you might never come into contact with and they never carry something as simple as a bandana that you can improvise as a tourniquet. And you're not just going to know how to do that on the fly, you have to practice it. And five dollars, how many times have you needed a couple dollars in your gas tank and not had it on you? How many times have you left your wallet at home? You never know when you're going to need something as simple as this and it's not all about living in the woods. This has been an episode of Ridgetop Survival. Please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, drop a comment, let us know what you think. I'm Coyote, and I'm out.